Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Now, volumizing styling powder. Sounds a little bit strange, but you know, it's actually a huge godsend to many, many styles, whether you're a man or a woman. And you know what? Very often it's a product I turn to. You may look at my hair now and think that there's an awful lot of hair. Do you know what? I always make a joke and think that there's actually more air than hair here. I have fine hair and I have a lot of it, but it very often sits quite flat. And to get a style like today without certain products would be very, very difficult to achieve. And you know, some days you can wake up and you can get your hair in the exact same style you always wear or the style you really want to wear or perhaps you're going somewhere nice or somewhere fancy and your hair just goes into place magically. Some days you can be going out the door and you can do absolutely everything with it and every single product going and you still can't get there. With this product, so the volumizing styling powder, you always, in my opinion, I can always get my hair into the style, volumized, big and real quite dramatic with actual not a lot of prep and it's really really easy so let's just jump straight into it so this is the product which i absolutely love now lots of brands now do volumizing powder now if you open this um it's just trying to think of the best way to describe it really it's literally like a very very fine textured powder and it's actually quite difficult to see so it's like a very it's it's white in color and it's a very fine sort of grinded fine blend like almost like a dust product which you tap into your hair it's a styling powder but it's a very loose fine powder now how do you use it so the product and why you'd want to use it so for example you shampoo condition your hair you dry it off flat that's what very often happens with me when i want to go for those pompadour styled looks or for loads of volume in the front or you want to really really get that texture going in front of your hair you can do one of many things so you can have your hair chipped into or thinned into uh -huh. Let's just rewind on that. So you can have your hair chipped into, which means cutting some of the weight and some of the thickness out of the hair, or you can have thinning shears pass through the hair. Now what that does, if you imagine that you've got your full length of hair, several of the hairs throughout, which aren't noticeable or shouldn't necessarily be noticeable if you want them for volume and height, they cut the, some of the hairs amongst your normal length of hair, finer, shorter at all different lengths. So those shorter hair lengths can support the other main hair lengths, which very often works by giving you body and texture. But sometimes that what that can do is unfortunately it can be counterintuitive. So it can actually take more thickness away. So yes, it gives you the illusion of more hair, but actually when you grab hold of your hair, it can actually make your hair feel as though you've got less of it, which sometimes is not necessarily the look you want to go for, particularly if you've got longer length hair. If you've got hair length about me at the moment, sort of about... Um, just coming towards the end of your nose or sort of mid bridge of your nose there that might be a thing what you'd want to do towards the ends of the hair but do you know what i've had a bit of a disaster once where i actually went somewhere completely different and i wanted some texture i wanted a bit more of a modern style and they were thinning my hair out literally from the base of my head crazy and it literally just cut the thickness out of my hair even more and it was horrendous do you know what got me through that stage was actually using uh dry shampoo and volumizing texturizing powder uh, so like these now this is my favorite now i have to admit i do have a bit of a weakness for schwarzkopf got to be products my favorite one being the glue blasting free spray and my next one is this here this is a little gem which helps me get my hair into styles like this and i'm bigger and higher i've worn my hair in these type of styles before really quite trendy really quite cool and it's certainly something which i keep coming back to and i like and when it comes to a higher um i've got more of a hair length it's really really nice then to have it swooped off to the side really great and i find it just looks really quite cool and you know what going back to my problems because i've got hearing problems it's really nice to take a piece of hair off or a few pieces off to my hair have that really nice cool trendy style on one side and then sleek it and swoop it off to one side and just gives me a little bit of cover for my hearing aids which i have in as well what other benefits would it be for using volumizing styling powder okay so let's turn it around a little bit so possibly you've got very fine see-through hair one of the great things what these volumizing powders do, particularly the Schwarzkraft one, is they don't have shine. Now, very often, if you've got shine through your hair, fantastic. And of course, it's the it's the element of health. It's the element of having great hair, shiny hair. But if you've got really fine, very, very lightweight hair, the last thing you actually want is so much shine. And you certainly don't want your scalp being that shiny either. Very often, because what that does is that opens your hair up and it makes it look very, very less dense with this type of product these styling powders if you literally and all you ha literally have to do is unscrew the top of these products and you get like a little sieve sort of on the end here and you just tap 
the product into your hair. So part the hair off and tap it all the way through. Now, once you've done that, it's not just a case of just then sort of being able to comb it through or anything. I will be very honest. In my opinion, it's designed then for you not to touch your hair too much at all. Literally, what you do is you rub your, your hair in through at the root. So you've got this powder and this powder really gets to work. You may find it gets a little bit tacky, but that's a sign that it's working. And it's making that hair feel like you've got more and it's lifting that hair away from the scalp. Then put it into the style you want. Leave it. Spray it. Perhaps spray it with a bit of free spray over the top from the same range perfect it holds the hair all day it gives you confidence that you've got more hair it's thicker looking and it gives you more texture now going back to what we were saying if you've got very fine see-through hair i wouldn't say don't pull the hair way out so you're going to actually look as though that again you're working against yourself if you've got fine hair and really really see-through hair it's great to lift the hair away from the scalp don't go silly and lift the hair way up sort of inches off your scalp lift it off yeah absolutely and then swoop it off to the side so for example like what i've gone today what I wouldn't recommend is lifting the hair up if you've got really see-through, very fine, fine hair. Always keep the sides short and lifting them up at the side, lifting the hair up at the sides, great, and over at the top. If it's really, really fine, I'd say lift the hair off to one side and then swoop it over. Because then what you're doing is you're giving yourself more coverage, more height, more texture, more density. And with less shine, it's going to look thicker than ever. So styling powders like these can be used for a whole host of things. So we've covered creating a style like mine today and getting that structure. So once you've shampooed, conditioned your hair off, you've blow dried your hair through, it's really soft, sleek, great, but it works against you when you're trying to create big structured looks like mine today. So using this type of texturizing powder, dousing it all through the roots. And you know what? You can build on this product. Throw more in at the roots, rub it through a little bit more, and then you've got this concrete sort of structure to be able to lift and build that really great style. Freeze spray from the range in the yellow can, spray it all over, you're ready to go. We've then covered if you have got really, really little see-through hair and really quite no density about it at all. Don't go too crazy with the lifting and the volume, but this texturizing powder can be your absolute best friend through lifting away and those tiny hairs, it grabs every single hair on your scalp, which is amazing, and lifting it up, it, lifting it up off your scalp and literally creating that pompadour style, creating height on the top, particularly keeping the shorts really, really short when you've got, um, when you've gone and had a haircut, really, really great. If you've got really, really fine hair and you can see possibly the back of your, the crown or you've got real less density on the top don't be afraid to use this product because it will work with you lifting it up on one side if you are that thin on top and then bring it down um, bring it down so off like what I've got here but not the swoop here and less not so much height because what you're doing then is you're not opening yourself up for that sort of less density because when you go out in the daylight you're going to be able to see straight through it no lift it up ever so slightly and then see how it looks if you think you actually can go a bit more lift some pieces up rather than the whole amount of your hair lift some pieces up through like with your fingers like what i've done here and lift this up now i'm not saying that i've got super fine hair i'm very blessed in the fact that i've got really fine textured hair but i've got a lot of it but believe you me it's it's really really flat and this is more air than hair as i always say so what else can texturizing powders do for us well if you've got problemed areas very often What's really, really good about these texturizing powders, if you've got an area of your hair, for example, my temples are fine and they have hair in it, but they can be thick. I'd like them to be possibly a bit thicker. But at the end of the day, like everything, we are never happy with what we've got and we always try for what we can't have. And you know what? It's very sometimes we do need to get a perspective that what we have is very, very normal. And it's set in our imaginations and in our thoughts, in our thought process that all of these sort of celebrities and people who are really sort of forced at us have things in their hair which enhance so many things whether it be color whether it be thickness whether it even be hair pieces whether it be men and women very often what you have is normal and you haven't necessarily got fine hair until you start looking into it and then you start seeing things but one thing what this product can actually do is if you've got an area of your hair which is really really sparse or you've got an area which is thinning for example if it's your crown or if it's your temples Holding your head off to the side and dusting some of this in or spouting some of this through your hair and then rubbing it through lifts those small hairs what you won't necessarily see away from your scalp. Then it's great then to move hair across the top of it because it gives structure underneath. Do you see what I mean? So by playing around with these texturizing sprays, you can have thicker hair and it can be so, so much more easier to style your hair, which moves me on nicely to my last part of my clip. This product here, whether you've got thick, fine 
thinning, whatever hair, is really, really great for styling your hair. How annoying is it when you take a brush and you dried your hair off and you've got it into that really nice style, you've spent time with a blow dryer, perhaps you've used a pre-treatment or a root lifting spray and you've got it into that style. You then grab the hairspray or your styling product and it's fallen flat within seconds. Or you move the comb off once and you sprayed it this side, then you go to do the opposite side and it's fallen flat. Looks like two different heads of hair. What's really, really great, and this is why on days where I can't get my hair into the style I want it to, I use this. Because if I use this, I know then that I've got the reassurance that if I do one side of my hair and I spray it into the style I like, I'm going to come over to the other and it's going to be exactly the same. Because what it does is it doesn't just give you stability or structure in your hair. It gives you that assurance that your hair has got more natural texture and more lift. So if you do have naturally fine hair, which sits very soft, very downy, very shiny, that's great. And that can look really, really nice. But if you want volume, you want your hair to stand away from your scalp, whether you're a woman or a man, this product is really, really great for working with you when you're styling your hair. And you know what? For me, very often, I don't have to use it, but very often as well, I do use it just because I want to, because it saves me time when coming to style my hair, and it's really, really nice. And very often, if I'm doing like what a style what I've done today, so shampooing my hair, conditioning my hair, and then perhaps I don't want to use anything on my scalp. When you've got dry hair, tap some of this in, part your hair off into several ways through throughout your hair, tap this in, take a few seconds just to rub, go crazy, literally rub your hands all through your hair, then your hair literally, you will feel, lifts away from your scalp. Then perhaps just come with a brush, brush it over to one direction, grab your fingers, literally pull it through, pull some pieces down at the side. That's how I've done my style today. Looks modern, looks trendy, looks youthful, and it's really great. So these type of products, this one here being my absolute favourite of the volumising styling powder from the Got To Be Schwarzkopf range is an absolute must if you've got fine textured hair. Perhaps you've got a lot less hair than myself here. Um, Perhaps you've got really, really thick hair, which you really struggle to style. Even because you've got thick hair, it helps you have that structure, that stability, which, to be honest, we all have days where our hair doesn't work with us. Do you know what? A product like this really, really helps, and I certainly recommend it. Cost-wise, very often you can buy this for £3. I think you can pay a lot more for certain products from different ranges, but I've tried those, and you know what? This one is my absolute favourite, and very often it's only about £3. I think sometimes it can sit around 4 50 maybe £5, but very often if it's on offer, it's around £3, but please don't quote me on that. You can buy this online, you can buy it in stores such as Boots, Superdrug, and so many other different places, and supermarkets and stores as well. Really great product. And I'm really happy that I have it in my hair armorial of products. And I certainly keep coming back to it. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this clip. And perhaps you even like the style what I've got today. Give it a try. It's, uh, it's one which I wear very often. And I certainly like it. And once again, finally, thank you very much for watching my clip. And until next time. Actually, something just came into my mind. Just as I was finishing this, which I should have covered. Does it affect my scalp? You may be thinking, OK, that's great. So you've styled your hair like this today. Does a powder like that itch? Does it cause a bit of an uncomfortable scalp? No, it doesn't. Not at all. The only thing I would say is it's a bit of a required texture and you might not like how firm it holds the actual roots close to your, your scalp, which gives you that structure and gives you that, that sort of flexibility to style your hair really, really big and those vol voluptuous styles. So that's the only thing. You might not necessarily like how it feels, but it does give you that great style. So if you're not too worried about that, but you you want those big styles or the, that lift, that volume in your hair, whether you're a man or a woman, then this is the product for you. But I've never had any problems at all where it affects my scalp or makes me feel out of balance or anything like that at all if it's itchy so i've never had any of those problems at all okay thank you very much for watching my clip and i mean it this time that's the last time until next time we will see you then bye bye now